Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a really, really quick update on a few of the items that I got in my second team U haul. I'm going to flip you guys around. Okay, so here's my little wrist uh, rest thingy for the mouse. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's so great. So cute. Um, so there's that. Um, there's the stickers. Of course, I have not done anything yet. Um, I, I will have to say that I, <laughs> I have a habit of not reading descriptions completely. So this little, um, USB extension, extender, whatever, I apparently did not know that my laptop did not have this little end to it. So I got to figure out if there's a, um, a piece that will let me do that now this is the laptop cover which I obviously have not gotten back on there I have rolled it up and put it back in this so it could hopefully flatten out so there's that um, those I did not show and I know you guys can't see them because the people that those are going to may watch this video before I can give them to them so that's just a little little something that I got some a couple of people now I'm going to go into the kitchen and show you a few things in here. Uh, first thing is, is my sliding glass door lock. I got that in. I had a piece of wood. That was it. That was it. So I like that. I've got the key put up for that. <clears throat> I'm flip you guys back around. So the couple things that I got here in the kitchen were these lids i'm sorry i have them in the the sink to wash um these i i've already washed one so let me grab it really quick and i'll show you guys it okay so here is this lid i've actually already washed it and dried it and i put it on so these i have three of these bowls that do not come with lids um i was actually kind of hoping that the larger one would fit on a larger one but apparently the large one will fit on the smaller one um, and i think it's because of these handles right here so but that's okay I'll I'll find other uses for them um, so I'm gonna flip you guys back around so the the other thing that I got was my Teflon oven mat I'm gonna call it <laughs> so I did not have to cut it down so we'll see how that goes I'll be using the oven tonight to see how that goes the other thing is and I thought I had at least one stock pot that had the metal handles and that was why I got these and not for sure what happened to it so these go on here that's what these are for so when you have it on the oven or the stove and these handles get hot you have something to grab a hold on to um, so I, I actually do like that so now I'm either gonna try to find my stock pot that was like that or go buy another one um, excited about this this is my actual phone so this is the finger thing that goes on the back so and I know yes I'm fixing to flip it upside down but yeah that's I actually like that I like that I like that a lot so there's that so I have not gotten my clock put up yet so I will be doing that here in a little bit um, getting that I've I actually got to find a plug-in for the USB to go into um, I have not gotten my curtain things up. I have not gotten these little drawers up, but I will get those up. So stay tuned. I will be back with you guys with another update on how everything goes. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm in here. I'm going to put these little drawers on my desk here. Um, something that I'm realizing with not just online places like team you or wish or anything which i've ordered from wish but i never received it so i can't really say but i've, I've watched a lot of hauls from there so um but anyway i actually i actually bought that storage thingy from tractor supply company and you know trucks they get a lot of freight and, and stuff, so stuff gets, you know, set on top of it and, and stuff. So the bottom was kind of angled a little bit. So I had to take my heat gun and kind of get it warm a little bit so I could flatten it back out because it didn't want to sit right. 
and I couldn't just flip it upside down because the drawers fit in there a certain way because there's grooves for it. So let me plug this in really quick. Okay, so so this bigger drawer, it's a little warped in the, the middle, so it's not wanting it to let it open and close. So I'm going to take my heat gun and kind of just get it a little more and see if I can bend that back out a little bit. But anyway, let me do this and I'll be right back because I want you guys to have to hear that. Okay, now I, I did that. So all I did was I heated it up. And then, because it was bowing in, so I just, I held the sides and just kind of pulled it up a little bit as it got warm. And just kept that on there for a couple of seconds. Got it to where it would actually, uh, you know, open. And then I turned the heat gun off and I actually held on to it as it cooled. So it wouldn't go back down. So, but yeah, I just did that with it while it cooled off. So, but yeah. So now I'm going to attach these. It did come with screws. It also comes with the um, adhesives. Now, since I have a door, I don't have a regular desk. I have a door. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's a hollow door. So I'm not really for sure how these screws will actually work and if it'll hold. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried about these. So I'm not gonna be able to put a lot of heavy stuff in them, which, I mean, they're not that big, so. But yeah, um, I'll be back once I get them on. Okay, took me a little bit to figure out placement and, and stuff like that, but let me flip you around. So this is where they are. I haven't put anything in them because I'm I'm gonna let them sit there for 24 hours before I put anything in them. Um, you know, I'm just thinking little small stuff, nothing nothing heavy. It's just you know, just something to help me, you know, put tacks or you know, I don't know if I'll put pins because I have all my pin things over there. But anyway, you guys, that's it. So I'll be back with the clock. Hi guys, so um, my last update, which I told you guys was going to be the clock, so I wanted to wait until it was dark and it got dark in my room to show you guys uh, the actual clock and the uh, projection of it. So here, let me flip you guys around. So there it is on my nightstand. Um, it's a very small one. Now I do have the time on the actual clock facing the wall and I did that because of the projection of the time up on the ceiling so let me shut the light off and let me show you the view from my bed wow that is it's bigger than the one that I had before but it's it's very readable <laughs> so um but hang on a second. So yeah, that's that's the clock. Um, I'm actually pretty happy. Um, I read the paper that came with it and I didn't see anywhere where it said that you could change the projection color. So um, if that's a thing, I don't know. But um, the other thing that I, I did get up was those curtain rod holders. So I got those up. Now my window is not that big. Um, it's an actual like a half moon window but that's the only curtain I could find right at the moment so I know I have another one that I wanted to put up there but yeah I mean it was very easy to install um, I just you know took the back off of the adhesive and made sure that it was level and and got it on there so yeah that's that's my my message as you walk out the, out the door but anyway um, so, guys, thank you guys for watching this update. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, help push me out there. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a blessed day.